The Editor Folding Highlight setting makes it easier to identify which ranges of a file are folded. This setting is enabled by default. To demonstrate its behavior, here I have some TypeScript code, and if I fold the method body here, you'll notice that VS Code both folded the code and then it's highlighting the starting line of the fold with this blue line across the entire width of the editor. So that is the folding highlight. If I fold some other code, so I go fold this if statement, fold another method body, for example, the switch statement, all of these lines now have the blue highlight on the starting line, and then there have also been folded. Over in the gutter, there's also a little indicator, this arrow icon over here, that's indicating that a fold has taken place, and I can just click on that again to expand the line. Now, if you don't like this blue indicator and you're finding it's getting in the way, you can turn off editor folding highlight. So I'm gonna open my settings here and say folding highlight, and I'm just gonna uncheck it. Again, this setting is enabled by default, and when I do this, you'll notice the code is still folded here. You can see the little dot, dot, dot at the line end, and you can see over in the gutter here the um, indicator, this arrow that is showing that there is a fold going on here, but there's no longer that blue line going across the entire editor. The editor folding highlight setting makes folds easier to identify in a file. If you find this getting in the way, though, you can always turn it off.